How's everybody doing today? You're watching Slot Car Mayhem. I'm John, and this will be episode three, part A of New to Carrera. And today we're going to talk about the App Connect and the Carrera Race app, and how well they work together, and the pros and cons of uh, that particular application. Uh, that being said, before we get started with anything else, I'd like to wish everybody a very happy Independence Day. It's the 4th of July, 2019, and currently right now it's about uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. So, uh, in case you're wondering if I'm busy, yeah, I'm kind of a busy guy. Okay, that being said, we'll go ahead and uh, we're going to start doing screenshots and uh, taking a look at the Carrera Race app and how we set things up and how we connect and how it all works together. Okay, here we are at the home screen of the Carrera Race app, and this is what you'll see when you first open the application. And in this case, the first thing I want to do is run through and make sure everything is set up the way I want it to be. In this case, we'll take a look at drivers. Uh, this driver, Ghost, just for fun, I'm going to delete him. I don't need him. Okay, we've got myself and we've got my wife, which I don't have her picture up here either. Uh, Let's go back to that and you can edit and it's as simple a matter as entering a name and a photograph. Cars are done the same way. Uh, you can add or edit them with a name and a photograph and your track you can go ahead and do the same thing. Give it a name and a photograph. That takes care of the uh, settings for your equipment itself and all that can be done without connecting to the control unit. So let's go ahead and return. We'll go back to the main screen. Now let's go ahead and set up a new race series. The reason why I like to use the race series is uh, I tend to run the same races quite a bit. So we'll just call this race 2. Race 2. Hit the little arrow. I'm not going to add a photograph, so hit the little arrow. Select the driver. You can go ahead and pick all your drivers. If you're running a ghost car, it will automatically add a ghost car to the roster. Okay, now we see we have race two here near the bottom of the screen. If we want to run a new race, let's go ahead and click that, and we'll set up a new competition. And in this case, we want to select our track, select our drivers. Now, we have to say who's driving what car. If you see here, it says no assignment next to the little car icon. So we'll go ahead and we'll click that and we'll pick which car we want to run. Okay, now it's been assigned Capri number one. Drivers, same thing, we can pick our drivers. Okay, now that that's done, we've got the competition set up. So we can click on the competition, and you can see we can do training, we can do qualifying, or we can do a race. Let's go ahead and select race. And you can see here that I'm connected to the control unit already. It's red. And also the little blue light on the App Connect dongle has now stopped flashing. Now you got to make a choice between fixed lap or fixed time. We'll go with a lap. And I'm going to go ahead and make it 10 laps. And we'll select F1 mode, which says that the car that wins ends the race. It doesn't have to wait for all the other cars to catch up. Now, you got to say who's driving where, and that means via controller. So in this case, if I wanted to use controller number four, I can just drag it down to controller number four just like so, and you can't drag anything into number one. You have to drag number one down. So if I want to put myself back on controller number one, I just can't go to number one. I can go to number two and then drag number one down till it moves up one slot. And there now I'm assigned to controller number one. It says auto number one, but that's your controller number. Okay, and we're ready to start the race. At this point, you want to make sure there's no cars on the track. Go ahead and hit your start button, the little red button up here. Now you're going to hear sound kick in. I'm going to turn the sound down a little bit. It says get ready. This means make sure that you've got all the cars 
on the track. Now you can put them on the track. I'll put my two cars on the track. One of them is a ghost car. Now you can hit the get ready button. Five, four, three, two, one. And I'll get ready to pull into the pit. It tells you who's in the pit. Then you pull back out of the pits. And the race has finished. Okay, I reach over and I hit pause, and that takes care of the race. One thing it does not do, it does not automatically stop the track once the race is complete. Uh, it will keep going, so be mindful of that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take the cars off the track now and uh, show you another interesting feature uh, that I'm not a big fan of, but something you need to be mindful of. So let me walk back over here to the control unit. And I'll show you how this works. We'll go back and we'll set up another race. So I'm going to cancel that race. Let's start a new one. Uh, I need to, I'll just restart it. And you have to go back in and set this all the time. Okay, that's correct. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start the race. I don't have any cars on the track at this time. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Now, if you notice, the countdown lights haven't counted down. The reason why is the track is in pause status, but the race is in run status. So now I'm going to unpause the track. Now the race is running with the track unpaused. Of course, if I pause the race, everything stops, the counter stops, the track goes into pause, and I can Five, restart it. Four, three, two, one, go. Okay, that works just fine. However, if you're running a race and you reach over and hit the control unit stop button, start stop button, which I'm going to do right now, the track has now paused. All the cars have stopped, but the counter keeps going. If I come here and click the pause button on the app, you hear the countdown. Now the track is in run status, but the race counter has stopped. So be very mindful of the fact that there is no synchronization between the start button on the control unit and the button here on the application. Uh, I would recommend that you continuously use the button on the application to uh, start and stop the race. That's one little thing in this uh, software that I really am not a big fan of. Sometimes you want to reach over and hit the start stop button on the control unit and having them synchronized I find is a good idea. The other thing if you notice uh, the app definitely likes portrait mode. Uh, once again, if you have it in uh, landscape mode, you can only see a couple, maybe one and a half uh, driver lines. And in this case here, it looks like we can see four. So uh, be mindful of that too. If you want to run this on a handheld device, it works pretty well. Uh, as far as background sounds, uh, I'm not a big fan of the particular background sound that's in there. However, if you're running off a phone or a tablet, and you're not connected to any particular type of audio system, it's probably the least annoying sound. It's, uh, you can hear it pretty well on the basis of a phone and understand what's going on with that particular sound. 
The voice prompts, uh, from everything I can tell, are limited to the countdown. When you enter a pit, it will tell you what car number, which means which controller number, has entered the pit, and when the race has finished. Those are the only three voice prompts that I see that we have on here. So for what it is, it's a free application. It will work uh, pretty well. It counts laps. It monitors fuel. It does all uh, those kind of features. You can uh, update things about your car. You can set your speed. You can set all sorts of different things on the cars individually and which ones you want to select them to. Um, you know, same thing for fuel and braking. You can deal with all that. Uh, it's a free app. The download is easy. And even if you're not going to use the Carrera Race app, I suggest you download it anyway. If there's any sort of uh, updates, like if you're going to use the Smart Race app, chances are the first time you try to connect software to the App Connect, it's going to tell you that you need to do an update. And the uh, updates are handled through the Carrera Race app. So go ahead and get it. Go ahead and experiment with it. Um, it works really well. It's a quick, dirty, no frills, no nonsense lap counting system. It seems to be fairly reliable. Uh, works pretty well. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's a free app. Go get it. And uh, don't be afraid to experiment with it. You're not going to hurt anything. So that wraps up the Carrera race app. If you got any questions, let me know. I'll see if we can figure them out. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to migrate over into episode three part b and that will be for the uh, smart race app so that being said once again everybody have a great fourth of july and we'll catch you on the flip side thanks for watching